Young nigga, I turn nothing into something My hand was in that pot, I was tryna make something Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas Clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy it's coming at y'all with another video. Now today's video, your boy been out here on a triple threat. And if y'all don't know, 2K has literally added D'Angelo Russell to the board. Now that doesn't mean that you're gonna get him right away. I started playing at like 1.15 um, Eastern time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Y'all get what I'm saying, 1.15 on the East Coast. That's like when they literally like dropped it right away and they said they're gonna keep it for eight hours. So basically until 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 6 o'clock p.m. on Pacific Time. So y'all don't have all, like, y'all don't, y'all won't have, like, the rest of the week to do it. It's not like a locker code. You guys gotta do it right away. I, like I said, I started playing at 1.15. I didn't get him until, like, 3. What time is it now? It's, like, 4 o'clock now. I didn't get him until, like, 3, so it took me, like, 2 hours to get him. I just, I was not gonna get up a triple threat until I got this card. Like, I was gonna play the whole entire time until I got this card. Like, you never say no to free pink diamond. It's a free pink diamond, and I didn't win every single triple threat game. I won most of them, but I lost like two or three. And um, I was just happy that it didn't pop him up when I lost that game. Because as you can see, when you lose, you get less chances to like roll him. But if y'all want to see, like y'all just saw where I got him. Like if y'all get him on that same spot on the board, maybe y'all can try to release the ball right there like how I did it. But I'm not guaranteeing y'all going to get it because, feel me, I don't know. It, it could be on the other side for y'all, so... Make sure y'all stay tuned for the videos that other people are dropping, like, on how to get them or, or if they got them in a different section. But right here, just all the stuff that I got during the pack, I mean, during um playing Triple Threat, I literally saw, like, four diamond shoes and, like, three of the times I lost, this, lost those games. So I only had one chance to get a diamond shoe, but it's all good, though. I still got one diamond shoe that you're going to end up seeing, and, and it's going for a little bit. I'm debating on whether or not I should, I should probably keep it. And wait till the value goes back up because right now people are playing triple threat like crazy trying to get to D'Angelo Russell. His price already dropped in the market too, but that's not gonna um continue on for long because by the end of the day, um it's gonna be done. Like I said, you have it until nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time to play triple threat to try to get this D'Angelo Russell, and it's not even guaranteed because you could pop him up on your board, and then you probably won't even land on him. Like that's the worst part about it. But it's 2K giving us a free pink diamond. Most of the time, you're going to be able to land on it. If you have more than one try, you should just keep doing it in the same area. And you're probably going to get that bounce. Like, you're likely to get the bounce to um, where it lands in that exact area. But y'all see me right here opening up these gold packs now. Usually, the gold packs are supposed to be good. But I've never got, like, a limitless range or a deep range that are, like, those badges that actually go for MT. So, I mean, I'll take the little bit of free MT that I do get, like, from badges like Relentless Finisher and stuff like that. Or I hold on to those kinds of badges because I can just throw them on with my players. But most of them do have them anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. And these packs right here always are good because if you get a silver player, it's going to go for a lot, most likely. Bronze players, maybe, and like emeralds and up, those are not going to go for much. But as you can see, I, I saved the diamond shoe for last. Now, the diamond shoe that I got right here, it's a Jordan shoe. So I thought I was going to be able to put him on D'Angelo Russell. I thought they were like, I thought 2K was going to make him just like a 2K sports, meaning that like you could put any shoe on them. But he has the Nike logo next to his name. So I came to a realization afterwards that I couldn't put the shoe on him. I was so mad because if you look at it, I don't know if I'm going to show it in the video. But when I started trying to um, look at what stats it boosts for him, he would have had a 99. I think it was a 99 um, ninety-nine speed with ball that I would um, he would have ended up having if I would were able to put the Jordan shoe on him. But as we go through the stats right here, he has a 97 layup, 95-3. Um, what else is he at? I think he has a 96 still. Like, right here, I'm just going through the stats right now. I'm not really, I'm just, like, skimming through it. I'm not really scrolling down. But, yeah. Uh, I hope that I do scroll down. All right, there we go. Y'all see the three-point right there? Doesn't really have much of a post game. The driving dunk is good enough because he's 6'5", so he's going to be slamming on people. 70 contact dunk. Um, 74 free throw. He must have had, a, like, an off game from the free throw line. Ball control, 98. Rebounding is there. Speed with ball is there. Vertical is even a 95. The steals in 96. Everything is pretty much everything is there on this card, bro. Like this card is so good. Like he instantly got thrown to my starting point guard. Like I didn't waste any time in putting him in my starting point guard. I'm like, why would I not put him in my starting point guard? Like I had LeBron James on my starting point guard. But I'm gonna go to the badges, pickpocket hall of fame. Y'all see the badges right there. Pick and roll maestro, relentless, acrobat, difficult shots, deep range on limit. Like, if this card would have had Hall of Fame limitless. Oh my goodness, it would have been over, but 
y'all see me right there that's when i came to the, the realization that i couldn't put the damn shoe on him i was mad as hell i'm like damn bro like i went to go look i seen him on the air jordan page like he would have had a max layup he already has a 97 layup anyway so i wasn't really sweating it too much but the cars that i have like gordon hayward those cars like that i mean i'm gonna keep the gordon hayward car because he's good but like i don't want to put the ball control shoe on i mean the ball yeah the ball control shoe on him because like it's not really worth it like if i put that on him then like i mean i could sell the gordon hayward but i'd probably be missing out on the value of the shoe itself because when you do try to up the um price for like cars like that people are not going to be too quick to buy them like for an example i had a vince carter i threw a dunk shoe on him my under armor dunk shoe and i tried to sell him for like i made him a bit of thirty-five thousand and maximum buyout of sixty thousand and he usually goes for around 30,000 and no one brought him. So I just put him up for 28,000 and someone ended up buying him. So I pretty much ended up losing out on the value of that diamond shoe and the Vince Carter. Cause if I would've sold the diamond shoe, the Under Armour Dunk shoe, which goes for about like 7,000 MT, I would've made that plus 28,000. So that would've been more. So you gotta be careful who you just throw diamond shoes onto. You see right here, as I'm scrolling through the market, I'm trying to look for how much, how much exactly does he go for? And I mean, well, how much the shoe goes for? I'm acting like it's a player, but how much the shoe goes for? And as I'm going through it, I see the price getting lower and lower. I think the lowest I found on this was 25k, but the list is so long because of how many people are actually playing triple threat right now. Like the 2k put it on their Twitter like three hours ago that D'Angelo Russell was available on my on triple threat online. Everybody started playing. You see the diamond shoes just piled up. Like you can usually tell when it's piled up because like. You see the amount of shoes on one hour, that means it's getting piled up. Like you can't, like you're not gonna be able to get off one hour. There's so many shoes. I wish 2K would make it easier to scroll through the list. It's really annoying how they make it so difficult to scroll through. I don't know why they do the stupid stuff like that, but it's whatever. I think that's the lowest one I saw right there was 25,000. So when I seen the lowest one for 25,000 and I was only stuck at two hours, I was like, bro, I really don't feel like keep on scrolling through this. So in a minute, I'm gonna end up getting off of it. But y'all see the shoes, yeah, I get off of it right here. But I'm going to go to my lineup, and y'all see what the lineup was. I had Bernard King as my point guard off the bench. His animations in the paint is crazy. His jump shot is still good, even though he only has a 78-3 or a 75-3. You get the boost if you have, like, a coach like how I have, so he has an 83. So he was really good in, like, finishing in the paint, but he obviously has to get on my lineup now because D'Angelo Russell got to start, and then I end up putting, um, I was just seeing how that would look, but I, want, I wanted D'Angelo Russell to run the point guard. Like, it's necessary that he runs a point guard. He has a better ball control than LeBron. And so does Scottie Pippen. Like, LeBron only has a 78 ball control. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put him on the bench. And I sat there and thought about it. I'm like, you know what? Gordon Hayward needs to go in the offense. He needs to go in the starting lineup, too, to help with the offense. Because Scottie Pippen is, um, Scottie Pippen has good offense, but his shot is slow. So it's kind of, like, difficult to, like, catch and shoot him. And Gordon Hayward has catch and shoot Hall of Fame. And I think um, D'Angelo Russell has Dimer Hall of Fame. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well just throw Gordon Hayward in there. You're going to see me do that. Um, me, yeah, D'Angelo has Dimer Hall of Fame, so I want that Dimer Hall of Fame and that Gordon Hayward catch and shoot Hall of Fame to like go together. So that's why I decided to um, start Gordon Hayward. And the defense is going to be balanced as a team because if I were to put Scottie Pippen, if I kept him in the starting lineup, the defense wouldn't be as good um, off the bench as it is on um, that starting lineup. And I want to keep it balanced because right now online, if you go 12 and 0, you get a pink diamond Dan Issel and a pink diamond um, Wes Unsil, which is really OP. So. I'm trying to go 12 and 0, bro. Like, I don't got time to be taking L's. Like, the sweaties are out on there right now, but I'm coming with the squad. All I need is a good amount of cards, like, good cards like that I have right now, and I could definitely get the wins. But y'all see me right here pulling up with George Mikan. If y'all didn't get this George Mikan, I hope that they give y'all a chance to get him again because he's definitely worth it. He can shoot the three, rebound, all that. But that's enough for George Mikan. We're going to look at the Andrew Russell stats right here. Y'all see the shooting? With the coach, now this is with the coach. You guys didn't see this before, but this is with the coach. You get plus four for your mid range, your three pointer, and your ball control. He has 99 all for the mid range, except for the um the contested three. That's the only shot that's not a 99. Everything else is 99. Y'all see the ball control got moved up to a 99. So this card is OP. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna have this card for a very long time because I want him to um I want his price to go down. So I'm not I'm not gonna sell him no time soon because. I want, I mean, I want his price to go back up because right now people are getting him and they're just throwing him on the auction house because either they might have a good squad already or they just don't want the card. They just want the MT to get a different card. So, but y'all see right here the jump shot. And I'm and I'm, I'm really good with the D'Angelo Russell card. Like, I actually, like, 
I'm a Lakers fan, so when D'Angelo Russell was drafted to the Lakers, like the year 2015, I think, yeah, 2K16, he had an Amethyst card. It was God, it was a godly card. Like, I was waiting for them to, like, give him a really good card. Like, anytime the Lakers draft, like, a point guard or something, I always anticipate them to come out with that card. Obviously, D'Angelo Russell is not a Laker anymore. He's a Brooklyn Net now. Shout out to D'Angelo Russell. The dude been out there balling. All-star. He, he getting everything he deserved, man. He didn't deserve to be treated like that in L.A. So what if he snitched, bro? People do a lot worse than that. They could have kept him and figured it out. But, yeah, like I said, I was waiting on him to drop a D'Angelo Russell card. Ever since 2K16, he got an Amethyst one. 2K17, I don't remember him getting a, a good card at all. 2K18, uh, did he? Like, I honestly don't remember the cards. I just remember that first card that they dropped for him that I couldn't wait. So his jump, sh and his jump shot was actually different back then. It was a little bit quicker, but, like... I've been using the D'Angelo Russell card for a couple years now, so I know his release. Don't see me starting to miss a couple of them. I'm trying to end off on a green light right here. That's why I didn't get off of it yet. I'm like, nah, bro. We got to end off on a green light. And I'm going to get that green light in a second. Probably right about now. Oh, that's tough. How about now? All right, there it is. I got the green light. But I'm going I'm to swing right over to this gameplay now. I hopped into a game, and once I seen who I was playing, I knew I was going to make him rage quit. So... Y'all see my boy D'Angelo Russell, man. I got him playing like the bet, like the better guard because he has a Hall of Fame pickpocket. So I want, I wanted, like, I wanted to test it out on him. But like, he's not gonna really be getting way too many steals. But you see me right away going to the rack with D'Angelo Russell, catching a bang, bro, straight off the bat. I wanted to see how much points I could get with this guy right off the rip. So we starting off with a basket, an easy dunk to the lane. Now my opponent, I don't know what's good with this dude, bro. Like. I mean, his team wasn't even that good already, so I'm not even gonna lie. I already knew the game was over. Like, he was trying to do post moves. Like, I don't know what he's doing. I got my guys on there getting boards. You see me coming on the court with D'Angelo Russell. Like, this guy I don't know. He's gonna have to guard up. I shoot with Gordon Hayward, catch and shoot. And that's the thing about Gordon Hayward. Sometimes he does miss, but you see D'Angelo Russell first three point attempt, early release, but he still makes it. He has catch and shoot Hall of Fame, so that dunk is gonna be wet like water. Already five points. Keep track of how much points you have. I don't have the little thing at the top right of the screen. But just keep track of how many points my boy D'Angelo Russell got. So he already has five points right off the bat. And my opponent is taking dumb shots. I don't even know how that shot went in. This dude got dream on green. So I'm coming on the court with D'Angelo Russell again, bro. And I'm I'm begging this guy to guard up. He's not guarding up, so I'm pulling from deep, bro. Another early release, but lightly contested. The shot still goes in. He's 6'5". So if he's being guarded by anybody beneath that, he's going to be able to shoot over them. That's just how 2K is this year. It's really bad, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm going to take advantage of it when I get the chance to. You see my opponent. This man is taking a pull-up air ball. I'm coming down with D'Angelo Russell. Late release. Wide open money team. I didn't get one green light yet. It was only just early and late releases, and it still was water. That's a good sign. If you can make those shots with a card, like it doesn't have to be like a good release or like an excellent that you know for a fact the card is water. Right? Like I said though, he has a 99-3. If you have um what's his name? Dwayne Casey, Amethyst Dwayne Casey as your coach, you get a 99 well not a 99-3, you get a plus four boost for your shooting. If you're a point guard, you get like ball control shooting. Small forwards get like on ball defense, shooting, like three pointer mid ranger. Centers get like defensive rebounding, on ball. So it's a really balanced coach. So you see me, you see me coming off the screen right there. He has pick and roll, Hall of Fame. So that that's going to definitely blaze him up. But I'm going to take one more three with him, and it, he's going to end up having 17 points within the left, like less than, I don't know how quick. But if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hurry up and go out there and get y'all D'Angelo Russell. As y'all can see from the gameplay, this card is OP as hell. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave your thoughts down below how OP this card is. It's your boy Jaren Ranks, and I'm out. Whoo, water. I got that new drip. Shoot a pop out with the pool stick. F and then Draco is standing 30 and it's sent on my hip. 35,000 for a brand new rolling wrist. Rest on my wrist, I flex like WrestleMania. I just might go take that jet to Australia. Young Draco nigga, know I'm international. Pull up a server paint, know that I'm taxing them. Hop in Bugatti, push it to the maximum. Young Draco nigga, I'm dripping blood, you like.